Hello, folks, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, a little bit of a tough fight last time. Let's go ahead and do a short rest here. I'll just do the fake short rest. Uh, where's my fake short rest spell? There it is. There we go. Will could probably use a couple of those spells back. Yeah, he definitely used some spells back, so let's do... Totally got a link. He really wants to talk to me. Alright, I suppose as long as it's not a fight, we can go and talk. What do you wanna what do you wanna do? Um hold on, I need to get out of here. Can I loot the body. Oh the just Gargus here didn't have anything? That's just rude. Big boss dude didn't have a single thing. Alright, what is your story, you absolute bad man? Ah, the interloper. And in one piece as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Yay? Um, now don't tell him about our warlock pack. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, who are you? You are a true soul. There is no excuse for you to not recognize your betters. But never mind. Your potential may outweigh your ignorance. I am Balthazar, chief advisor to General Thorne, and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. Do you know what is at stake here? Um, beauty tips from beyond the realm? Because you got a little more research to do. Okay, history roll. We can do a history roll. With Bard? Yeah, okay. We've read of noble, notable Balthazar before. Okay, let's see if we can figure it out where. A little bit of guidance would be nice. Thanks. We got advantage because we're a Bard, which is great. Otherwise, the intelligence roll, it's it's possible. We're going to do it. We know. You remember an ancient scroll rescued from an Amcathran monastery? It spoke of Balthazar, the monastic order's leader. Specifically, it recorded his death. He looks pretty good for a dead guy. Yeah, I must say, the legends don't do you justice. He didn't seem very legendary when I took his name. Naught but a pile of bones. Impressive tomb, though. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes. <laughs> Judging by how you're cowering here, you're surviving. No, we're not going to say that. All right. I don't know. Tell me. There is a relic here. One which General Thorne desires. No. Needs. I will retrieve it for him. And you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. This necromancer has Catherick's trust. Helping him could be just what you need to gain access to the man himself. All right, so I'm not the type to make a deal without the details. What exactly am I looking for? Ooh, has to be a roll, but we're a good persuader and Warlock gives us advantage, so good chance here, I think. Yeah, I think even if we roll like a five, we'll still be pretty good. No need to worry, though. Man, if I just not... If I had not had advantage there, we would have rolled a one. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleating. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. And you need my help? I do not need you or your help, but... You are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded or fallen. I'd trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But 
Perhaps better to play along for now. That's the plan. All right, we were a pretty good persuader, and I don't mind taking advantage of this guy as much as we possibly can. So you have resources to spare. Give me something to aid my search. Do we cast friends too? I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Fine. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. You named your flesh golem Flesh? Do you name your dog Dog and your cat Cat? Okay, yeah, take the bell. Flesh will remain here until Cork. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. So, all right, maybe it works differently in magical realms, but the actual ears themselves don't matter. Right, okay, so this would all be stealing, basically, if we take any of this. So, if we want any of this... We've got to kill Balthazar, which I do want to do, but later. Uh, grab the, the chest here. Nobody's looking. Uh, not even much in it. Okay. Broken Moon Latcher, which explains how he got here, right? Okay, so as much as I would love to kill this guy, it's not going to happen right now. Uh, these guys have anything on them, really? No, nothing at all. That's just root. How are you not fighting the bad guy who's right in front of me? Who's right? Okay, everybody over here. Everybody over here. Come on, over here. I want to kill. See if this guy has anything. Just a bundle of incense. What the actual shit? Okay, well, that's sad. There's a door over here, though. Hello, door. Uh, Carlac. Your department. Fiddly things. 30. Holy fuzzy cats. Um, not even... I mean, yeah, do Bardic Inspiration? I don't think we can do Bardic Inspiration and Guidance, so we'll try this, but that's a hell of a roll. Nope. That's not going to do it. Oh, no, it totally did it. It totally did it. The party inspiration put it over the edge. Holy fuck. Yeah, open the door. What the hell is behind here? Oh, ho, ho. Hello, hello. Kind of expected that to be trapped, too, but okay. Teachings of Loss. Sounds like a Char volume. Breathe in and out. Look inward. What in the deepest reaches of yourself do you see? A bright and blinding light? A harsh exacting sun? Or instead, do you find a comforting velvet darkness? A womb-like place where all you are, exactly as you are, can find repose? This is the darkness Shar promises. A darkness free from judgment, free from scrutiny, in which we are invited to exist in our purest essence, our most essential selves. Alright, well, I bet the wares. That is our chemical ingredients, and so is that. Actually, all these just go to Gale. Magic weapon, dominate person. All right. Okay, I'll go to Gale. What about over here? Infernal iron. Nice, nice. That's definitely what she needs. Add that to wares. Add that to wares. We've got an arrow of many targets. That sounds cool. Give that to Will. And roaring thunder. Give that to Will. Okay, over here we've got a glow ring. The wear deals an additional two points of damage against creatures that are eliminated. Only two points of damage. Um, a grudging gleam emits from this ring. More an indictment of light than an endorsement. Okay, I mean... So the only benefit to this is that we do have, I think, both 
Shadow Heart and Will have skills that uh, put a Radiating Orb on top of bad guys. So additional two damage on somebody who already has a Radiating Orb on them. Not horrible, but not great. Uh, do we have anybody without a ring? I think the answer is no, but let's just double check. You've got both rings. My face protects me. You've got both rings. Your desire. You've got two rings. Sharp as ever. And you've got two rings. Let me okay. work my magic. Uh, do you have anything great here? You have Mage's Friend. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And Mental Inhibition. Yeah, whenever they fail saving throws, they get Mental Fatigue. That's not horrible. What does Mental Fatigue do again? Benedict has minus one penalty to Wisdom, Intelligence, and Charisma saving throws for every turn remaining. Fails of wisdom, intelligence, saving throws while having five more turns with its condition remaining. The energy takes. Oh, okay. So basically, this has to stack. So it's not doing great, but it's not horrible. Negative one penalty to saving throws isn't horrible. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, the mage's friend. Yeah, I like that too much. Okay, so Shadowheart also has a ring. What are the rings do you have? I'm not sure the glow is going to be worth it, but I just want to make sure. ring okay moves your movement speed up that's how you made it around the battlefield so effectively so that was actually pretty good engine saving throws against charmed i mean that's not horrible but maybe go ahead and swap that out for the callous glow ring okay where am i needed uh okay we've opened up a brand new set of chests there that was great what about the pile of sacks Close. Unreal. Uh, what about you? Just a candle. Nothing else. How about the box? A lot of incense. Incense like crazy. Alright. Anything else over here? A uh, vase, which of course there's nothing in it. I always like to look. Okay, I don't suppose there's another really cool door over here. We go. Also locked. Okay, hopefully not 30 Attention. again, because I don't know if we'll, how likely we are to do that again. But I'm willing to lock like this. Hard. Okay, 18. Much better. Much better. Definitely do 18. I mean, barely, but... Saving is not usually an indicator of success. Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. Are the rats having a meeting? At the ready. The pride of the gate. There are definitely some rats over here. Uh, hey guys. What's up? Unworthy of dark cloak. Unworthy of dark fur. Unworthy. That's a mean old rat. Wonder what's bothering it. Mm, consider the rat's tone and choice of words. Okay, sure. Why not? Got plus three to insight. Um, I'd like him to take some guidance here. Every little bit helps. Hmm, maybe not. Nope. Uh, we could try inspiration. We've got four, right? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. We only carry four, so might as well use one. There you go. The rat isn't merely territorial, it's proud. This place means a great deal to it. Seems this place is important to you. Why? We've always been here. It's ours. We watch over it. You do not belong. Extraordinary behavior. There's more to these rats than meets their beady little eyes. Leave. Away. My nest. My dark. I mean, we're not going to leave, but I appreciate the sentiments. Um, should I be Even wondering the why they're... The good sense to pay homage to Lady Shah. So it is an altar. Uh, okay, what if we open it up? A 
place of offering to the Dark Lady. May she embrace the entire world. Okay, I mean, I guess we could pray at the altar. Couldn't help to have the attention of a... Well, I mean, not sure about the Dark Lady, but a god, anyway. That's not good. That's not good. I'm not gonna cut it. We try again. Uh, what the hell? Let's, let's use one more inspiration. What the heck? Let's do it. Okay, that should work. Unless we get no really bad roll. Okay, no, that's the work. Okay. Oh. Um. A pleasurable shiver runs down your spine. You feel as if you've unburdened a troubling thought and forgotten it forever. Night Singer's favor. Okay. Uh, what does that do exactly? Let me look at our character sheet and see if we can find out. A fighting entity is resistant to necrotic damage until your next long rest. Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good time hanging out over there. What about over here? Got boxes and books. Boxes and books. Hello, skeleton. You've got a key. Great, thank you. Also got a book right next to you. Abandoned journal. The handwriting is a hasty, lopsided scrawl. About the pages are blots of ink and what may be smudges of dried blood. Lady Shar continues to preserve me, though escape is impossible. The beast still prowls our halls, though the sounds of battle no longer reach my ears. I fear all my brothers and sisters have fallen in defense of the Night Singer's sacred gauntlet. But I shall wait. The beast will not linger for long, surely. A shorter entry, the handwriting even more skewed and erratic. The beast still remains. Why does it not just leave? And why does it sing? The food is gone. I must preserve my strength. The final entry is barely legible. Mistress, embrace me. Please. Wow. Okay. So he had a bad time. Just to guard helmet there. Uh, come on. Where's the helmet at? I know I just saw it. It is maybe over here? There we go. Is that to where's? Traveler's chest is not locked. But it looks like just a bunch of alchemical ingredients, which we'll hand over to Gale. Girl has a candle inside. Wooden crate, nothing. And the burlap sack has dust gray clothes, which we'll to wear. Now, it's only worth like two or something, but still. Okay. So, what's down here? It's like a feast of some sort. A rogue's morsel is definitely so. This seems more like just an alchemical place. One with the weave. So just go ahead and take everything here. I don't know why they'd be eating it directly, which is what the floor seemed to indicate. Um, yeah, add the silver tray to wares. We need that. Pick up the thing there. Thiever fork. Metal fork, water, spoon, chalice, fork, bowl. Silver plate might be good for wares. Mushroom soup? Do we have stuff in the middle, though? Can we not take any of the stuff in the middle? Or any of this stuff over here? Oh, here we go. Water pump seems unlikely. Acorn truffle, there you go. Pick up the acorn truffle. A lot of plates. Elegant chair. Grab the dragon egg mushroom. Blue cat mushroom. I was hoping for a third one there, but no such luck. A lot of plates. A lot of white mushrooms, but that, those might just be regular. Okay, they can't really grab anything else here. Not even from the hanging herbs? No, apparently not. Okay, what's inside the wooden barrel? Oh, I'll come up radiant. Okay. Inside the vase. I mean, basically it's just a kitchen. Some tin plates. Apparently they put out their good stuff for dinner, but that's about it. Alright. Oh, the doors are locked. The doors are locked everywhere around here. For a good Open meal. this up for me. What do you call that? Can't I just break it? 14. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. You can do that. There you go. See, no problem. Didn't even need my help. 
Oh. Uh, are we back in the Underdark? I mean, these, these mushrooms sure look familiar. Prime spot for an ambush. Oh, hello. Okay. Good perception check there. Let's use a thing and a fire snake, see if we can grab this guy. Or actually, maybe a water whip. Use a water whip to... We can't knock him prone, but we might be able to pull him. Yeah, grab the cloaker. Boom! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, then smack him around a little bit. Not enough resources. Uh, we can fill the floor of those. That'll work. Nice. On the victor's path. All right. What is this guy's strongest stat? What are his weaknesses? What do we got? His strongest stat is his strength. He has no resistances whatsoever. He does have multi-attack, which does suck. But only if the target is frightened. Um, why don't we go ahead and sing? How uh, maybe... I was wondering if maybe heroism might be a good idea, so we don't forget frightened. Yeah, let's do heroism. Um, let's see. Make yourself or a target immune to frighten. Yeah, okay, so make... You I mean to frighten, give you some heroism. There. And then we should probably hex, right? Let's hex his strength. Oh no, the concentration though. I thought heroism was a buff. I'm a dingus. Alright, get over here and away from the main group. And I don't know. Do a witch's bowl. That's something. Okay, still surprised. Uh, we should be able to just smack him around a little bit here. I stormed a little bit of an overkill. We surprisingly do not want to do Spirit Guardians. They are actually not helpful here. Uh, Guiding Bolt. Sure, why not? Oh, big ol' whiff. That's too bad. Alright, smack him around a little bit more. If we could kill him before he actually gets to attack, that'd be great. I don't know if how likely that is though. Maybe? This is my time. Mm, let's try smacking him around a little bit. Nice hit. Okay. Let me recite that Alright, can you do 12 points of damage to this guy? If you reapply Witch Bolt, I think. I think that'll do... Well, that'll, that's at least a bonus action, right? So, reapply Witch Bolt. Where is that? Hold on. There. Activate Witch Bolt. Activate Witch Bolt, though. Okay, 10 damage, which is good. But not sufficient. Damn, 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 damn. We seem so close. So close. Oh, we just created a freaking mirror image. It shouldn't matter, though. Like, these are all imaginary, I'm pretty sure. So, if we take him out, I think we still manage to do this. So, Sacred Flame this to you. Oh, save, damn it. Hey, Karlak, take this guy out, and I think those images disappear. Yep. All right. Any loot? Not even any alchemical ingredients. All right. Delton has nothing. Surprisingly, the chest is not locked. Just some gold. Not have been that great. I mean, I suppose the more gold we have, the more spells Gale can learn. So there's that. Uh, speaking of which, though, how are spells doing? Seek and you shall find me. Wow. Okay. Maybe we need to go in long rest. I need to do it this early, but that one fight with all the undead was actually really tough. Yeah. Okay. Let's go long rest. It's probably depending on spells. Uh, everyone good to go here? No conversations need to have? I think we're good. All right. Let's rest up. Oh, 
nothing happens. How very strange. Everyone's getting along. No one has any conversations to have. We're just good to go. All right. Uh, let's get our other cleric friend here. This vessel is at thy disposal. The vessel only stares blankly. You'll need this. Okay. Mostly just to get the buffs these here. These things have stayed interesting. Long Strider. Uh, hold on. I need to get out of there, apparently. Okay, let's try that again. Long Strider on you. Okay. It's too good not to have. That little bit of extra movement doesn't sound like a lot. But every three meters helps. You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been doing the, uh... Right from poison. Probably not a bad idea either. Oh, and of course this is Gale, so we gotta make sure to also put on warding. Uh, where's the ward? Not the Guardian of Faith. Where's... There we go. Warding Bond. There. Okay, you get Long Strider. And protection from poison. Okay, then one last one. Over on Karlak. I don't know why you're separated from the rest of the group here. Maybe she's just trying to cope with the fact that she was told she was going to die. I don't know, you can you can coalesce with uh with Gale. He's got a suicide mission, you've got a death sentence, so like either way, I mean you guys are all kind of in the same boat. I think we've buffed everybody now, at least all we want to do. Uh, you know what? Do not do prediction of poison on you. Uh, I okay. Weird, but okay. Sharp as ever. All right. So now we get Gale back in the party. I feel the weave growing more distant by the moment. We walk Shah's path now. Best we don't spend too long in her shadow. I'd be delighted, though somewhat magical. Okay. Make sure you draw more bag at this, because that's always handy. I don't think we need to do packed weapon. I think that automatically happens anyway, but fuck it, might as well. Okay. Let's go back out in the world. Or I guess back to Shar's temple. The Gauntlet of Shar sounds ominous. Oh, no, I don't need to back up this way when I go through the door. At least now we're ready for whatever this manages to throw at us. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, just splash of the acid, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Just a little bit of an acid bath. And, uh, it's healthy for you, that's all. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the map. Where have we not been? Oh. The Gauntlet of Shar is actually bigger than I thought. Okay. Um, Alright, go over here. We want to go to the east and explore all of that. Alright, go over here. Okay, go this way. And I think this is where we want to be. Bunch of dead guys. You were to look at these bodies, right? Yeah, they're empty. Okay. That's what I suspected. All right. So now we want to go north, I guess. Okay, that's the Pit of Doom, right? Have you ever seen the pit? Uh, keep heading east as far as we can. Just to fill out the map a little bit. There's somebody over here. Also, music and the stairs are out. Hmm. If I jump down here, we're not going to be able to jump back. Let's see if we can maybe find another way to go the same way. 
Let's try, let's try north. Oh, this should be good. Lady Shaw. So many must have toiled to make a visage so grand. It's beautiful. Are oh, she talking about that big giant statue over there? Okay, so there's a traversal gem and pedestal of reckoning, which I don't understand what this is. It looks like it needs something in its second slot there. Hmm. Is that right? Upon the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. In the gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. I surrendered most of my memories to help protect Shah's secrets, yet I still remember the stories of the gauntlet. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. What are these trials, if you happen to know? In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials, then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. Hmm. The thing is, Dark Justice here is an evil class. So it's probably not going to happen. Maybe it means something different in this game, though. What does it mean? It means we'll have power. Power we can use to take on the Absolute and rid ourselves of these parasites once and for all. If I become a Dark Justicia, I'll have Lady Shah's highest blessing and her arsenal at my disposal. This will be good for all of us. Let's explore. Okay. I mean, I guess we can do that, sure. We have to use the traversal jump, right? Yeah, probably summons that lift over to us. Mistress of pain. <laughs> Get it. What anguish she has visited upon me. The traversal gem did not work. Hmm. Maybe Shadowheart needs to use it? Hmm. No use. Not right now, at least. No, I think it requires... There's another thing there. We don't have the... We don't have the bright, shiny bobble for it. So we need to go find somebody who does. Okay. Uh, we've been... We've been this way. That's the way we came from. So I guess we've got to go down the broken stairs, right? Yeah, I don't see how anything else would work for us. Yeah, that goes back up to the world. Um, yeah, we've got to go down the broken stairs. Okay. I'm not sure how we get back up. Eh, it's a simple enough jump. It might be fine. Yeah, we should be able to jump back up easily enough, I think. Uh, Karlak, this feels like a trap to me, What's so... The story? You go first. Yeah, especially with the autosave just kicking in right there. Alright, the... Bridge here is broken. Or whatever this used to be. Yeah, that is doom down there. Okay, well, not where I want to be. We could jump back over that way. Or go down the nice, easy steps over here. Is there another rat? Went by pretty fast. Oh, not a rat. Not a rat. That looked like a... I don't know what that looked like. Oh, it's a freaking displacer beast is what that is. Uh, sure? We might be able to talk to it. We might be able to talk to it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we can try. Um, is there another way in here? Black of any clues here? Chambers of Penance. Okay. Yeah, this thing's broken all to hell. Another good view of the Lady Shar statue. 
It's pretty well made. All right, let's go deal with the freaking displacer beast. Let's go. Ah, even a dragon's corpse doesn't spill this much blood. What happened here? Yeah, he's like right there. Kill Raphael's old. Oh, oh. Is a displacer beast and Raphael's enemy? This could be bad. But there's the glowing bit right there we need. So we can talk to the displacer beast. Ambush and a devil. I can feel it. Oh, she spotted him. Can I talk to you at all? No, can't talk to you. Oh, maybe you will. No, this is it. This is the conversation. Hello. What's this? Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. Holy shit. An orphan. Powerful devils. I wouldn't get on their bad side without a good reason. You tiefling. You've got the stench of the hells about you. The stench of home. And a whiff of the surface besides. A servant of Zario. If I'm not mistaken. Good eye. I'd know the stench of her infernal machinery anywhere. Or good nose, I guess. What do you know of infernal machinery? Only what I can smell. And whatever engine burns within you is grinding to an inevitable explosion. Burning and fear. <laughs> you reek with it. He's not wrong. There's something else. Almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael! I can smell him all over you! Where is he? Wait, you know Raphael? That perfume trickster swindled me! Trapped me! Hmm. Is that the devil you know? I'm just wondering if maybe... The thing is, making a deal here might help Carlac. If he can get back to Avernus, he might be able to help Carlac there, but... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing apparently stopping him from leaving. I mean, the way out's pretty clear. Ha! There's my word. I agreed to a contract, one that hasn't yet been fulfilled. Where is he? Spit it out. Now! Oh, well, he's outside. Careful. I'm not sure we want Raphael as an enemy. She's not wrong. There is that. Yeah, okay. If we're not going to be forthcoming, then we got to fight. If you won't speak, then you don't need to draw breath. Tell me what I want, or I'll feed you to my pet over a ten day and keep you alive to watch. I mean, maybe we can help each other? Can we do that? <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. How did he watch that last Besides, time? I told you already, I'm bound to this place. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. I mean, you're hardly free as it is. I mean, there might also be a warlock according to two different class options here. But I mean, you're hardly free as it is. Maybe you're better off indebted. You wouldn't say that if you truly knew his mind. Just listen to the terms he gave me. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder shards halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Got like a recitation 
Gaius, that's well, pretty horrible. That explains where all the dark justice years went. You yep. feel a chuckle of crackling fire in the back of your mind. It seems your patron enjoys a cleverly constructed contract, especially one with a built-in loophole. The song's last couplet is a clause that's nearly impossible to fulfill. That's it. So he's the one who killed all the Dark Justicius. Alone. Might not want to get on his bad side. Not that we have a choice. Um, all right. Well, crap. <laughs> have you considered some inst instrumental accompaniment? I don't want to make it pretty. I want to silence it. I mean, if you have to live with it anyway. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Oh, all right. Then. So we are going to fight. You feel your patron's prickling flame at the back of your mind, and its diabolic words on your tongue. It wants to help. Huh. Um. Oh. Yeah, that's actually true. His followers always hear it. If he's alone and never sings the song again, he'll be free. Of course, he also has to kill us. But aside from that, you've always had an audience. Your followers. Get rid of them. Shit. Can I do it anyway? Oh, so close. Okay, we've got to use inspiration for this. We've got to do it. Okay, that should do it. That should be enough. We've got enough buffs otherwise. There we go. The Merrigans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. But they do have ears. They do have ears. Kill yourselves. Back to the hells with you. Um, you should have waited until you killed us first, but sure. Yeah. Makes the fight easier. I still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. Well, because we heard it. Oh, the displacer beast can hear you too, can't she? Yeah, that's also true. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. 21's pretty high. Should we roll friends? Let's do friends, then we'll have advantage. For the shot. Oh, hell yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Nessa. Stay very still. My beauty. Wow, with a single shot. I still hear it. Well, that's because of us. Oh. How good are we at this? That's going to be a hell of a roll, but if we can do it... Must kill yourself, then you'll be free. Do friends again, because we want the advantage. Here we go. I don't know, maybe? Holy shit. If you're wrong about this, I'll claw my way out of Avernus and eat you alive. Contract be damned. I'll be waiting for you, I guess. Nicely played, Raphael. Bastard. Okay. Damn. Now there's something I never thought I'd see. Brutal. Don't fuck with a bard. He'll convince you to murder all your friends and then yourself. Okay, take the Emerald Gem. Need that. Nice. Uh, Displacer Beast would be a good thing to loot, I suppose, because that, that poor little Nessa. It's funny we don't actually know her. We don't actually get her name here. Okay. I mean, sure, look at this Yelp too. What the hell? Oh, it has a candle on it. Big deal. 
Not even out chemical ingredients, huh? Okay, there's something over here? Ortheon's bed? Uh, sure? Is he just sleeping on dead bodies? I've made beds out of moss, twigs, even mud and bark. But even I have my limits. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, beyond me. Okay, so can we grab his body? I think he, I have to go upstairs, huh? Hanging corpse? Horrible slaughter made into a crude gallery. I think we need to go up here. I thought he dropped on the ground. I thought he dropped on the ground. Now I don't see him. Up here, come on. But it seems like he'd have something for him, right? Okay, so all the Maragons are here. They've all turned to dust. We got all halberds. Okay, so hold on. Karlak. We're gonna take these halberds, but they're gonna be heavy. I'm pretty sure they're nothing I want. Okay, your gear. Yeah, your gears. Loot his body. Another infernal iron. Nice. And a hand fire, hellfire hand crossbow. That seems like that should go to Will. Like burning damage when hitting a creature with his weapon while hiding or invisible. Alright, the Scorching Ray Shot's not bad, though. Well, when a shaman is plus two. Alright, hand that over to, uh, to Will. Carlisle's inspired. Nice. Another Maragon Halberd. Actually, let me take a look at this. Okay, it's just a plus one Halberd. Yeah, alright. Nothing great. At least not for us. Lizelle might be able to do something with it, but, yeah. Man, there were a lot of Maragons here. I'm glad we kind of avoided that fight. That was actually really good. And the wares. And the wares. And the great thing is we got the same amount of experience we would have done normally. If we had done the fight. Because that's how the game's designed. Oh, hello. Uh, Wall of Stone, Banishment. Okay, take the Halberd out the wares. These all go to Gale. Last Merrigan. And here's to wares. Okay. Man, that would have been like, what? Six Merrigans? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Merrigans, the Displacer Beast, and the Devil. Wow. Wow, that would have been a lot. That would have been a lot. All right. But now we've done that. Uh, can we jump up here? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we probably need the elevator, right? Oh, okay. That's not where I want to be. I wonder if we could have snuck up on him over here. At least we'd be on the same level. Yeah, if I'd gone around, maybe. That might have been a thing. Obviously not a thing now. Okay, is there a way to get over to the elevator from up here? Or do I need to go back down again? Uh, looks like I can go over here. Maybe. Oh, it says, yeah, open the skeleton. Ah! Okay. Alright, I think we've done everything we can here. And more, actually. That was probably our best result we could have gotten from that particular scenario. So, in on a high note for right now. So, thank you for watching. This has been Baldur's Gate 3. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.